but there's no one else here because it, the weather's so bad. <laughs> uh, but I guess it is a bit too cold to go swimming. What are you gonna do? I'll go touch the water. <laughs> Hello, welcome to day four in Italy. So I last probably switched the camera, I think on day two. So what has happened since then? So on day three, we took the train from Rome to Naples. And this was maybe one of the best train rides I've ever had. It was really beautiful scenery. Um, so many mountains and like little mountain villages and also there was the sea at a lot of different points as well and I had a great time and then when we arrived in Naples we weren't in Naples for very long we transferred at the main train station and um, then took a train to Sorrento where we were staying for one night unfortunately this train had like tinted windows and so you couldn't see out of the windows and actually it was very scenic it goes past like Mount Vesuvius and um, Pompeii and lots of different like seaside towns but um, yeah the, the windows were tinted so that's not the case for most of these trains the train we got on the way back the next day um, didn't have tinted windows and we could see the scenery and then we arrived in Sorrento and Sorrento is a beautiful little town on the Amafi coast about an hour and a bit away from um, Naples on the train and we checked into a hotel which was really nice and then we went around the city and I filmed a few bits around the city which I can show now. <laughs> what? Is this a vendetta? Is it? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Is it a dead end? <laughs> We're in Sorrento and we found this like uh, pathway down to the beach that goes under This is amazing yeah, It goes under the, I don't know, the structural uh, cliffside thing Yeah, there's no one else here because it's uh, rainy and stormy But it's very beautiful, I'll show you what I'm looking at right now yeah. So we're now at the port of Sorrento. You can see some rain cows there. <laughs> they look cool. There's a good can. <laughs> and <laughs> following you. And uh, where's Mount Vesuvius? There? There. There's Mount Vesuvius. And there's a boat that goes to Naples. Ah, uh, pigeon. <laughs> then we were up there a minute ago. Or like somewhere. <laughs> up there, I think. And it's really beautiful. What do you think? Beautiful place. I think in summer it would be yeah. swarming. I think the nice thing about coming now though is it's very quiet everywhere. There's yeah. not really anyone. <laughs> but I think in summer it probably gets really, really busy. And it's not that cold actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's a cat licking itself. <laughs> so we've just found a lift that goes up all the way up there. Let's see what it's like. Oh, that's actually... Wait, do you have to pay for it? <laughs> oh, flashy. Oh, interesting. Just a normal lift. Let's go. E <laughs> there we go. So going in the middle of... So going in the middle of... Like the wall, the cliff. the cliff, the middle of the cliff. It cost one twenty, <laughs> one twenty per person. Okay. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, very fun. And then the next day, day four, which is today. So this morning we woke up and. Um, got ready and the hotel had breakfast included which was really nice so I had some croissants and some yogurt and fruit and then we got the train back the other way <laughs> to Naples but we stopped off at Pompeii on the way back and wandered around the town for a bit and because we had our stuff with us like our big bags and our uh, suitcase we decided not to go around the old city um, I think there are lockers and stuff 
but we were also just feeling quite tired and I think the um, the city is really quite long and you have to walk for a long time and so we decided to just go around like the the town of Pompeii and although if you can still see some of the ruins if you don't pay to go in the city I think yeah you see most of them <laughs> um, if you go into the city so um, we wandered along like the outskirts of the city and we saw some of the ruins and um, you can see Mount Vesuvius in, in the distance. And then once we had finished with Pompeii, we took the train back to Naples and then we got into Naples around two and so this afternoon we have been going around Naples. And Naples is quite an interesting city. Um, I think <laughs> uh, it's very hectic. Yeah, I think there are lots of buildings, lots of people, lots of cars beeping at each other, lots of traffic. We got a bus and it really nearly went into another car and the bus was just packed full of people. We felt like sardines and it kept stopping and going and stopping and so many car horns were beeping. Yeah, also it is by the sea and it has this harbour, but you can't really get to the harbour. So we went to like walk along the harbour, but yeah, it's all like fenced off. And so we were just walking along a busy road for about half an hour. And it does have like this nice castle, which we took a shot of, but I don't know the hecticness of the city is kind of the opposite of peace <laughs> and I think coming from Sorrento and coming from Pompeii, these very peaceful, um, almost idyllic locations, um, Naples has felt a bit um, chaotic. <laughs> I mean we only wandered around the city for a few hours so I'm sure it has some lovely parts to it and we had some pizza which was very nice but I think overall the city is probably a bit too busy um, for me. I think I prefer quieter places. <laughs> and so yes, then we came back to the hotel room and now we are in the hotel room. This is what it looks out like outside the hotel room. And there, I think now we're just gonna chill um, in the hotel room in the evening, um, uh, ready for our day tomorrow. So tomorrow is day five and we are going to Florence. We have been going south ever since we arrived in Pisa on day one. And yes, tomorrow we're going back up north because we're flying from Venice on Saturday. So we're going to get the bus to Florence. And the bus was very cheap. It was like three euros to get the bus, and which is kind of crazy. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and it's about six and a half hours. We get the bus at 10, 15, and then we get into Florence at 16. 40 and then we have a night in Florence then we go to Verona then we go to Venice and then we go back to Berlin yeah <laughs>